Hello there, Ross here at Teacher Toolkit. Thank you for watching this video to understand how to use the five minute formative assessment plan. Uh, so I'm gonna put my video out of the way, I'll come back on at the end. I'm gonna be less than five minutes uh, to explain how you might use this as a planning tool for personal self-reflection or across your school or college organization. So box one, scribble here. What's your current purpose for feedback? What's your current agenda, stroke priorities? How do you evaluate feedback, marking, and those kind of things across your classroom or school or college organization? And what do you want to do in the future to improve your quality assurance methods, as well as reduce workload and increase the impact that your teachers have on students in your classrooms? Uh, in the slide that you've got this resource in gr greater detail, so you can scribble in here, any specific methods you use, whether it's called the yellow box or a verbal feedback stand, whatever the technique is, just see if you can scribble one teacher technique in each of these nine boxes. What I really want you to think about is what's your best marking strategy, your one that you always go to, and are you providing students with feedback, feed up, a, a reference to a grade, or a feed forward, which is an explainer. And I'm confident you'll have a marking strategy across that top line. But when we talk about verbal feedback, well, how do you differentiate between verbal feed up and verbal feed forward? And then the non-verbal signals and gestures we use in class. Think about your effort versus impact. So what we're looking at here is what ideas take you a long period of time and have minimal effort for your students. Uh, so a lot of effort from you and not much action from your students. That'd be in the red zone. Think about the green zone. What don't require too much effort on your part, but have a big impact on your students. And I guess it's just another way of reflecting on all the different things you do and seeing where you would position them. They all have a place in the education system, but we all know there are some have a bigger influence than the others. Then when you think about what you're currently doing, just scribble a circle on this scale are you not yet ready to adapt some of the new methods or are you already doing these nine things? Um, if you are, please get in touch. Think about your current priority and what you need to do next in your classroom or across your school. And then what's the one thing you're going to do to your teaching and learning policy or to your quality assurance documents or to your observation, deep dives and work scrutiny methods. I guess what I really need to think about, so there's those nine documents here, uh, nine ideas here. Scribble a technique in each of those. Score yourself here on how you currently do all nine, if, if you do them all, how you assess them and how what it looks like in the classroom. And then this bigger one here, it's a bit more challenging. When we look at student books in an observation, most of us consider what the task looks like, number one, we don't really think about how, how, you know, there might be a policy that says, you know, feedback must be responsive and within a week or six weeks or something like that. So think about row number eight here. How do you evaluate that when looking at a piece of work? So there are lots here and this is kind of big theoretical stuff. But what I really want to think about is in your quality assurance methods, when you're looking at work in books and things like that and talking to students, how do you factor in these influences just to think about, you know, rather than just looking at a binary method, you look at a, a book and you can see the teachers mark the book and a student may or may not have responded. It's quite a low level approach to quality assurance. So how do we go a little bit deeper? This scorecard here is asking you to just reflect on your current practice. The ultimate goal, what I really want to achieve here is, are you working in an organization that celebrates nine different types of formative assessment rather than just marking or the phrase just feedback when feed up and feed forward exists. Um, thanks for watching. Let me know what you think. Please get in touch, Ross at teachertoolkit.co.uk.